Shut up and sit down. Hi, hello. I am the Cyber Reef Guru. Thank you for watching. So a couple weeks or so ago, I watched a video on YouTube where a guy made a, a handheld sanding block out of some wood pieces. Uh, the long and short of it is, is a, you know, it, it had these two pieces that clamped down on a piece of sandpaper and held the sandpaper in the middle there with this little knob where you tightened it down and it was kind of, uh, you know, conformed to your hand so you can sand pretty easily. And as I was watching the video, it occurred to me that, hey, you know, that looks like a perfect thing to model in Fusion 360. Uh, then if I wanted to create one rather than spending hours in the, you know, in the workshop making one, I could just 3D print it and, um, well, still spend hours 3D printing it, let's be honest, right? But if I needed to create another one, rather than another couple hours in the workshop, I just kick off another print and I can, uh, you know, more or less, I don't wanna say mass produce these, but produce a fair number of them pretty easily. So I did exactly that. I went into Fusion and I modeled it and then I printed it. So let's cut over to Fusion and let's take a look at the model. Okay, so here we are in Fusion. This is the model. Uh, as I mentioned, <clears throat> it has this bottom piece here. It's got the top piece where you grip on your hand here and a knob that tightens everything down and then a bolt, which uh, kind of goes through the middle here. Let me just kind of uh, walk you through the different pieces. Uh, this bottom piece here is actually where the, the sandpaper kind of wraps around. This is made for a five inch di diameter circular sandpaper, which I don't have any here right now, but I would show it to you if I could. <clears throat> um, and then this top part here uh, fits right into the, 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 the base here, and then the sandpaper wraps around and then gets clamped down in these edges here. And the knob uh, fits on top, and then I have a nut and a bolt here. You can see here uh, that it screws in from the bottom, and then you place the, the nut in the knob here and tighten it down, and it clamps down the sandpaper. So very super cool, very easy. Now this guy spent probably, uh, I don't know, the YouTube video was 15 minutes or so, so he probably spent a couple hours making this out of wood. Uh, was very meticulous, and it would probably take me at least a couple hours, if not more, to do this. Uh, so what did I do? I went off and I printed one. And here we go. This is the print. Um, now, obviously, I printed it in all one color because that was easy uh, rather than the multiple colors that you see on the screen here. This is the printout. Um, it's got the knob on top. It tightens it down. And I'll take the knob off just to show you how this works. Oops, there we go. Take the knob off. Separates into two parts. Push it down. Um, got the little bolt here in the bottom. It fits nice and flush in the bottom there and then you clamp your uh, sandpaper down in here now uh, I did this and I was like hey you know this is kind of cool but honestly in my little teeny little hands it doesn't feel very good like I would have trouble sanding with this for a long time it the the, the grip right here just doesn't doesn't fit into my palm very well it's frankly it's not wide enough for me and I got teeny little hands um, so I feel like the top could be wider, uh, and it's just kind of rough. And honestly, the base is a little too thick. The sandpaper only has about a quarter of an inch on each side to grip. And I was like, wow, so I can definitely do a second turn on it. Uh, but this was uh, complicated to print. Or I shouldn't say complicated to print. It was time consuming to print. It's about six hours, and, and it has some moving pieces. And I'm like, there's gotta be a way to simplify this thing, right? Um, and then I had this epiphany. I actually own this guy, and you can see sandpaper, sanding block, Velcro, place for your hands, uh, or your fingers, I should say. Um, it fits my palm perfectly. I can sand with it. Um, it's Because it's Velcro, the, these little uh, hook uh, sandpaper pads that I have for my random orbit sander fit onto this super nice. I can do manual sanding, it's perfect. And so I'm like, well, heck, this thing cost me like 10 bucks. I'm pretty sure that I could model this and print it and it would cost less than 10 bucks, even with buying the Velcro. So what did I do? I modeled it. Let's cut over to this guy here. This is my model. Uh, this is really kind of simple. I just created a couple sketches 
Let's roll back in the timeline. Uh, first, I created a sketch, which is the bottom part of the sketch, which is really the, the size of the, the sandpaper and the, and the size of the square part, right? This kind of part right here, right? Uh, then I created a second sketch, which is the profile. Oops, I'll click back on that. This is the profile that I used, which is, I'll turn it this way to match the screen. It is this profile, right? Very straightforward. And then I just did a bunch of extrusions. I first extruded uh, the kind of raw image this way, and then I cut the edges off uh, for the circle so the sandpaper fits across here. And then I did some sculpting <laughs> by using fillets. And then I futzed around quite some time to get these angled guys in there. That was actually quite challenging. That was the hardest part of the entire thing. And so there you go. I printed it. Here is the printout. Uh, ignore the black. I'll explain that in a minute. So I printed it and I'm like, hey, this is really great. Um, and then I put it in my hand and I'm like, oh, that doesn't quite fit as well as this guy did. Um, the sides are really tall. They don't really arc in the way that I want. Um, the whole thing's um, it's about as wide as I want, uh, but it's just a little too tall and just doesn't quite feel right. So with the Sharpie, <clears throat> I kind of marked out where I felt that it didn't fit well. So these little nubbins here needed to be pushed down. The entire profile you can see here just needs to be pushed down. It's just too tall. Um, and when you hold it up against this guy, you can see, let me see if I can get a good picture of this. Um, you can probably see here that... Um, it's just taller than this guy. Um, so, what did I do? In this case, rather than trying to muck with this model, I created a new one. <laughs> uh, and I'll explain why in a minute. Uh, so this is essentially the same exact thing, just with different uh, fillets. I used the same exact process. I started with the same sketches and same profile, um, rather than editing the other one. And I just pushed the profile down a little bit. I, I took the fillets and I made them bigger to kind of squeeze in those top corners a little bit better. Um, and I did some uh, kind of screwing around, mucking around here with these little finger hole things because they were actually, after I did all the filleting, they, the, the extrusions broke. Now, I felt like I should have been able to go into the model workspace and model this thing using meshes um, and, and just get a much more organic shape rather than filleting in a solid body. And I got to be honest with you, I tried for hours to get this from a mesh um, or take a mesh and turn it into something like this. Just couldn't get it to work. It's me. It's, well... It's probably me. It might not be Fusion. I don't know. Maybe Fusion's harder to use than I think it should be. Um, but there it is. So we printed it, and there's our model. Um, it's it's feels better, right? Uh, it's got a better cup feel for me with my tiny little hands. Um, I'll be honest with you. Um, it looks like it could be a little bit longer. If you look at this guy, right? When I cup it, my fingers fit right in these holes. Um, I don't know if that's because this is more rounded. I don't think that it is. Um, I just think it might be maybe the hump's a little taller. I don't know. Um, but it feels definitely like it could be a little bit longer um, by maybe maybe an inch, half inch or something. Um, so something that we can play around with a little bit. I think it'd be pretty easy to make it a little bit longer. Uh, although the, if we make it truly longer, the sandpaper might not fit here. So maybe it's a matter of making it a little bit taller. Uh, something we can play around with. But the point is, is I modeled it pretty quickly. This only took, uh, took me probably an hour or so. It took, I think, three hours to print. So, uh, you know, probably about the same amount of time, but I went about my business while this guy was printing. This would have been me in the garage for hours, um, and it would not have come out this precise because I'm just not that great of a woodworker. Uh, so there you go, there is the model. Um, all I have to do is put a little uh, Velcro on the sides. Uh, maybe even put Velcro on the bottom. It's super smooth right now, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, I was thinking about maybe putting a fillet around the, the around the bottom here to give it smooth edges. I don't know. Um, having it uh, sharp might actually work better when you're uh, sanding. Who knows? Have to see. So, uh, but overall, I tried it out a little bit. Just you know, some some fake actions, if you will, and uh, it seems to work fine. 
Okay, so there you have it. Um, that is the model. That is three models. Uh, but this is the power of 3D printing again. Uh, design in place. Uh, made this model, printed out in this really cool safety orange. Uh, switched over to yellow because I happen to have it and frankly I never printed yellow so I had to use it for something. Uh, two different models. Um, one slightly better than the other. Uh, neither honestly quite perfect. Um, but that is the power of the 3D printing. So hey, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, as always, I would appreciate a thumbs up anyway. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Very important these days. Ring that bell if you want to be notified of new content. Ringing the bell helps as well. And that's it. I hope everyone enjoyed this. Don't forget to be inspired and we'll see you soon.